Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to remove and install a distributed forwarding card 3 as well as remove and install the Ethernet memory module. I'll perform this on a Cisco WS-X 6704-10 giggy card. Things that you'll need. You'll need a static strap. You'll need a number one Phillips head screwdriver. You'll need a anti-static bag or pad to set the DFC on when you remove it. Um, so that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and start the removal of this card. The first thing you'll need to do um, is get your Phillips screwdriver and you need to find the eight Phillips screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's remove those. Then you have these two um, pin nuts that you need to remove. Sometimes there's a metal strip here. Um, if that's on there, go ahead and remove that as well after you remove these pins nuts. There's one, and there's two. And on this one, you're actually going to put it right back on, like three turns. Just so uh, when you go to remove this DFC card here, um, that you won't break the pins on it. It's just a safety feature. So what you're going to do here is you want to put your thumb over the top of this nut with your index and middle finger underneath it and then your thumb over this hole right here and your index finger there. And this hand's going to just go up and down and this is just going to be a slight pressure on this one. Until you hear that. Once you hear that, the card, the pins released um, and then you can go ahead and remove this nut there. Once that's done, you can switch your hands. This, your right hand is going to be in the same spot. Your left hand is going to move over here. There's a pin underneath here for the um, for this side of the card that you'll need to remove. Once that's done, just lift straight up, and the DFC card will be removed at that point. The next thing we need to do is remove the um, memory module. There's two tabs on each side. If you just take your thumbs and index finger and pop those out, the memory module will pop up and grab both sides of it, slide it out at that point. You'll notice there's a pin on the memory module right here. You take that pin, line it up to reinstall it. Make sure it's fully seated to that point. Press it down from the middle. Move your fingers at both sides and set it back in until it clicks. Once that's done, your memory module is uh, set in there. Fine. Take your DFC card, line up your your pins on these terminals right here and here with those holes. Set that down nice and gently. And you can take your thumbs press right there in the middle just over the screw holes and pins where you'll need to press once that's done you can go to reinstall the nuts
if you have a metal bracket, you'd install that metal bracket before you put these nuts on. Go ahead and tighten those up with your Phillips. And then move on to replacing those eight Phillips screws. We'll make sure this sets in over here good on this pin once you get to this side. Probably should do that before you install these screws. As far as firmness, just snug enough. So that they're not going to go anywhere. it. You're done.